This is the end. You know what I, I liked about it, and I think when people watch the video, they'll see it. You immerse the viewer. The people watching the video are going to be immersed two ways. Number one, you're right. The camera work and the sound, amazing. But there's something that you do, and Joe, I don't know if you got to this um, because of time's sake, but there's something you do at the end of the video where you actually go out into the audience and you get yeah. reactions. And it is oh, the most, okay. Right. okay, I'm just gonna tell people, you need to, again, the last nine minutes, huge. And then after that, stay, don't walk away because people are crying, they're mm. tearing up. And, and what I loved about it is, it is literally a cornucopia of the world. You're getting different accents. Um, happily, they're speaking in English so I could mm -hmm. all understand them. But what I loved about it too is when um, Martin, 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 Martin. Yeah. boy, out of three times, I got them all wrong. Um, Martin <laughs> gets up there and also has a word. And again, without giving any of what he says, it is such an incredibly emotional moment. Mm -hmm. He looks wonderfully and emotionally spent. I mean, you see every piece of him just, and he talks about the journey you know, mm -hmm. two years in the making and how the journey culmination was really cue the music and everybody coming together. And so you guys galvanized literally the world together. And when I thought about you premiering this on December 23rd, and I think you did this on purpose, I thought, I don't care if you're Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Christmas time and the holidays, I, I, I feel like they, they cement everybody. And, and it just brings people together because it's supposed to be a happy time. You know, Joe just had a great conversation about the Bond community. It's so good when it's positive. And you're giving this gift at such an incredible time. Was it very purposeful to do it very close to Christmas? I wouldn't say I've had, I've planned it like for a long period of time. I've just wanted, I've wanted to put it out. And then I was thinking, when's going to be the best time to do it? And I think you're right that's that's a big part of it it's it's that time when i think everyone's going to be gearing up for christmas i'm hoping the people will be sort of finishing work around then and you know i just wanted to put out a time when i thought i'd, I'd try and, and capture as many people as possible to see it because uh, partly I, I wanted to also a, a big part of it i wanted to get it in before the end of the year but so still in part of the 50th anniversary year um but also i just want to you know i really want I want the Bond fan community, the ones that haven't seen it, the ones that haven't necessarily bought into Q the Music yet or just haven't heard about it. I want them to, to, to get the opportunity to see it. And this is really sums up Q the Music, um, you know, perfectly, really, in terms of um, that kind of emotional um, moment. You know, that that was just an absolute just a snapshot in time that's never going to be repeated again. It's just the ultimate event. And we were so privileged that Martin asked us to, to perform there. I mean, I, I've said it so many times. With the exception of my two children being born, it was the most incredible moment of my life that, that weekend. And it, uh, turned, it turned your passion and love into this is your full-time gig now right you're doing well, this for a living be, yeah it will be from the summer I'm, I'm i'm leaving my my job as a musician over here and and going to the kid music full-time so it's um a huge risk it's scary exciting all of those kind of things and um but uh, you know i'm thinking i think it's going to work really really well and i've got lots of ideas of how i can um expand expand on that but you know, it really does rely on uh, um, Q the music does rely on the support of the Bond community. You know, it it's we're not a show. That, there are so many touring theatre shows in the UK that, that have it so much easier than I do. You know, you, you put on an ABBA show in a theatre or you put on a, a Grease night or anything like that. You know, it's going to sell out with the Bond yeah. concerts. They just don't. They really don't. And we we we're we we're sort of touch and go every time we do a, a theater show we're touch and go as to whether we're going to be into profit or not the last four shows that i did i wasn't in profit you know i lost money on some of them are good some of them are bad um and you know every single and the thing that's important to remember is that every single time we get a bond fan or anyone actually but especially the bond fans to one of our concerts it's a hundred percent positive feedback every time you know that's that's which is fantastic but it's it's just so important that we keep bringing those those Bond fans uh, in because there's so many out there that haven't seen the show yet. And it's 
it's made for you. You know what I mean? It's made for those Bond fans. It's it's tailor made for them. Joe, uh, mm. I wanted to ask a bonus question of both of you, but first let me start out with something with for Joe uh, specifically as it relates to what Warren just said. Is it true that you in 2020 are commissioning Warren's band to do a theme <laughs> song for being James Bond? <laughs> could you go on record with that sir <laughs> <laughs> they, they, and i could just imagine what they would come up with it would absolutely be incredible you know the it, it, out there <laughs> there you go um you know you know it, it, warren is dead right when he says that this is really a show that is custom made for bond fans and i think that it, it is also the sort of thing that i think anyone would enjoy i mean if you're not a bond fan if you're just a music fan obviously but I remember, like, even early on in the show, Warren starts to talk to the audience. And, of course, again, he's talking to this group of hardcore fans that came to this event. And so basically, and he said something like, you know, you know, normally I might say a couple things about the history of Bond music, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, but, you know, I don't have to. You guys mm -hmm. know all this. So it really is something that is kind of perfectly geared for, again, a hardcore fan. or I mean, it's just, a, you know, a, a fan as opposed to just the average person. So, I mean, it really is, you, you feel an extra sense of connection because it's almost like we're, you know, we're kind of getting a wink from the band. Like we, we know, you know, so, so this is for you. We're not, we're not going to give you the, um, the fluff that other people might get. So, well, at, at, sorry, I was, that, that's, that's a funny thing actually, Joe, because I mean, I've, I spin it back at you guys, but when I'm kind of, I mean, normally when we do the theater shows, we have, um, a bond girl compass so the ones that we have working with us are all fabulous we have madeline smith from live and let die caroline bliss obviously the money penny from uh, living daylights and license to kill and caroline munro from the spy love me all three rotate around but they all do the shows between them fabulous um mm. all three of them lovely to work with so they do a script where they kind of introduce the songs they give a little bit of facts about the music and everything else it's really good but of course i didn't have them there for this and i thought well i'm gonna have to speak and i was thinking well what do I say? Because I can't really read that script. I mean, what do you, how do you compare a Bond concert to 200 of the most diehard Bond mm. fans ever? I think the last thing they want to hear, as I said in a bit, a little bit, you know, that Shirley Bassey sang three songs and the first of those is Goldfinger. We're going to do that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, so right, right. Totally, instead, yeah. of, instead of doing that, I thought, well, actually, I'll talk a bit more about how we're doing what we're doing. And, and, I actually, I mean, I'm so, I'm so chuffed that David said earlier on, he said, oh, you, you know, you did a really good job. But, I mean, because it's not really my, believe it or not, then maybe, I don't know, but it's not really my thing at all to do that, who's comparing. I'd much rather have Maddie or Caroline or Caroline doing that. But um, uh, but actually, when, I, when I've sort of seen it back, when I've been putting the video together and stuff, I mean, I'm literally talking two million miles a second with with just pure excitement and i'm surprised that i actually managed to get anything coherent out with how <laughs> with just how excited and just happy i was to be there doing that you know i'll tell you why what it was because we recognize and smell a fan we we, we recognize and smell one of us you know it's that whole familiarity and mm -hmm. and you came across so passionate as a fan i i, I do have a question though um oh, yeah. for you warren because there's something that just occurred, depending on when people are watching this. Um, we just had a trailer come out. I don't know if you heard for yeah. No Time to Die. Are you in your capacity, the way you're wired, excuse the pun, mm. are you able to watch a trailer like that and not think like, all right, come May, cue the music is going to be doing the theme song somewhere from no time to die. And boy, I could see and hear a theme song conjuring up. Like, do you start playing the soundtrack in your head? Do you analyze it or can you just let it relax and wash over you? Uh, not at all. Actually. I'm, I'm completely and utterly a, just a pure and utter fan when it comes to that. I mean, I watched it. Um, what was it now? Day before yesterday, same as you guys. Um, I sat, I, I, my, we were actually all about to go and have a Christmas dinner and we were due to leave. And I, and I said, I'm going to have to meet you at this dinner. I'm going to have to come late to sit and watch the trailer. And I sat and watched the trailer like everybody else in good morning America. And then immediately watched it back on YouTube. And then literally as I was, um, driving to this Christmas dinner, I was trying to download and listen to people's reaction ones. I was catching you guys, your reactions on the way back from the dinner in the evening. 
pure fan. That's what I am in that situation. Where it changes is the week before the film comes out and then that song usually drops, doesn't it? It's normally around a week before they, they bring it out. And it's around about two weeks before that the terror sets in because what are they going to bring? What is it going to be? You know, is it going to be something that we can we can do? Um, there, there was I mean, mm. I remember there was a rumor of one of the films and it, it turned out obviously just to be a, a rumor. But there was a rumor that Eminem was going to do one of them. And I'm thinking, wow, that's going to be really tough for us. It'd be to, like rapping and stuff like that. Exactly. Then. You know, you know, and there's and I've and I've said it, you know, in other places as well that, you know, when I've heard the Radiohead song that was rejected for Sky uh, for Spectre, I think we dodged a bullet there personally. <laughs> it's like James Bond, Biggity Bond, Biggity Big, Biggity Big Bond, Biggity Bond. <laughs> you know, I I wasn't a fan of that 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 particular yeah. sort of song you know it, it the could Iggy it, pop one too the Iggy yeah pop one oh, yeah i know, <laughs> That's I know. Favorite. but i don't i mean <laughs> but i don't think it i don't think they ever will pick something like that because it does all kind of fit into uh, a, a a sphere within the bond you know they, they, they kind of push the boundaries a little bit i mean you know my name really kind of felt like a left field sound when i first heard it i was like wow that's really different but man, oh man, I love that song now, you know, and, and Writings of the Wall. I'm a really big fan of the song. Like, I, and actually, I don't really mind uh, Sam Smith's voice in it. I know that's a lot of what people um, push back against, but I really love the song. I think it's a beautiful piece of music. Um, but yeah, so a fan all the way. But then that's the one bit where cue the music kind of that, that side of me kicks in. So I'm like, ah, oh, what's it going to be? And as soon as I've heard it and you think, yep, that's going to be fine, then all of that just switches off. And I, I go into the film uh, just purely watching it as a, as a fan. I think I probably, just whilst the song's playing during the credits, I'm probably thinking about it then. But then the rest of it, then, uh, yeah, I just want to I just want to enjoy it. And I think I think that even applies to the score as well, actually. As much as I, I we do a lot of, as you know, you guys will know, maybe people watching don't, but we do an awful lot of cues and, and rejected songs and, and songs within the films. We do them as well. Um, and I, I don't want to think about that when I'm watching the film for the first time or even the first couple of times I go in cinema. It's only really when it comes out later on or the soundtrack comes out and I buy that that's when that gear switches and I, and I start thinking, you know, what's here that we can mine from this uh, and, and perform. So do you, do you guys and Joe, you may know this cause you, I know you've been talking to a bunch of people. Do you guys know what music they used for the trailer? I mean, it's gotta be existing music, I assume. But, well, normal, the normal form is that trailers have their own, there is, a, there is actually a whole industry out there of, of composers that write for trailers um, oh. And it's not the guy, it's not the composer who writes for the film. Um, so it's not on Dan Romer in this case, if, if he's still doing it. I mean, it seems like he is. So um, it, it won't it won't be him. I think they're obviously they're way too busy scoring the actual film. So they bring in someone just to do that, that particular um that particular bit so because remember with spectre Amazing. there was all those sort of quotes from on a magic secret service wasn't there yes. do you remember and everyone yes. was getting really excited going oh this is going to be amazly and actually it bared no resemblance to uh, thomas newman's score at all which is a shame i think it would yeah. have been great. His, his one score skyfall yeah that they <laughs> duplicated for yes. spectre yeah 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 absolutely, yeah buzzing <laughs> 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 Uh, the, yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. So um, we mentioned that we're putting up a link in the details. What time is it on the on December 23rd? Because we really haven't mentioned that. So it's half past eight in the evening, but that's Greenwich Mean Time. So for you guys in New Jersey, it's going to be half past three in the afternoon. Um, and, you know, wherever else you are in the world, you're going to have to kind of work that bit out. But um, if you if you want to find it really quickly and easily, just go to the Cue the Music page, which is facebook.com forward slash cue the music show and it'll be it'll be running live and i think what i'm going to do actually anyway is i'm going to i'm going to put one of those little countdown timers on and i'm going to uh. start it probably a good couple of hours before so people know where it is and then they can come back to it when it goes live at 8 30. that's always a great idea joe and i will definitely pony up and try to let people know in our humble little corner of the world and mm. it's, it's it's worth it you, you you've done an amazing job Truly. Oh, I love you. I love the thank timing you. of it because I could totally see myself sitting somewhere wrapping Christmas presents with mm -hmm. that playing. 
with a, a glass great of idea. wine and you know on a bearskin well, rug yeah yeah need, <laughs> hopefully people tune in but also spread the word if you're seeing this and you know tell everyone about it it's going to be the, the great thing about this event is that people can we can watch it together and we can enjoy it mm. and share it and that's something that is because it's only up for those two hours there's an opportunity for for bond fans even though we won't be in the same room um the bond fans will be able to be mm. watching it together and, and and enjoying it in the chat and what have you so yeah. oh you know that's something we didn't even talk about so there is going to be a chat scrolling oh yeah yeah there will be yeah and you'll be oh, able to that's... switch it off if it's annoying so you've got no to, no, no 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 but i think the way People love chats. So, I mean, you know, I know Joe and I are going to be there. I think if you want to uh, really have a nice kind of discussion and discuss what you're seeing and mm. hearing or just talk about what you've been hearing in the news, um, mm. uh, chats are amazing. And it's a great way for everybody to connect. Mm. I did not even know that. That's great. I, yeah, yeah. You know, as we're talking about it, I'm sort of like, you, you know how, you know, we have the, the movies on our shelf. But when they're on TV, something a little more fun about yeah. that because it's live yeah. and it's happening now. Mm. This is going to have that feel. And and I feel like, you know, from for all the talking that we're doing about all the different aspects of, you know, again, I really have to stress, you know, you were talking about how there are people in the audience. Mm. I was one of them. I swear to God. I mean, I literally was wiping tears out of my out of my eyes. This thing was just that intense. You know, I get like I said, I mean everything just sort of came together and this this concert was was magic and and again and, and I, I have to stress i wouldn't say this if i didn't mean it i mean i i mean this from the bottom of my heart like this is so true uh it was it was D david used the word masturbatory before so i'll, I'll use the word mm. it was orgasmic i mean it honestly was you know and i and, I, <laughs> and it's again it, it's not hyperbole i swear to you it, it was it was just it was so intense this whole experience. I mean, like everything about it. I mean, from 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 the Olympics of it, from the from the athleticism that it took to actually do this, uh, to the preparation, to everything. But again, the performance was absolutely just unbelievable. Um, and we, we were joking before about it, not even joking, but about how it took some of my least favorite songs. <laughs> David and I have something coming up tomorrow. I purposely put Dirty Love on the playlist because <laughs> now suddenly I'm a fan of Dirty Love because I saw cue the music to it. I, I, I spent years goofing on how silly that stupid song is and then <laughs> cue the music does it and I'm like, all right, well, all right I guess I'm a fan now. That so was James, that was James Bond Radio that that uh, that got that sort of egg, egged me on to do that one at some point. Right? Yeah, yeah they, they've been going on to me for years, all, their, all those guys. That's their favorite. I'll tell you one of a really quick anecdote that you guys will, will love, and and it really sums up everything you're saying. During the Majesty's 20-minute medley, Stephen Saltzman, of course Harry Saltzman's son, was stood literally about I don't know eight feet in front of my face uh, with his friends, one of you, and and I, the start of Majesty's start, the medley started, and I could see him just sort of going oh my goodness, they're doing 20 minutes of music from Mashley's. This is pretty cool. And throughout the medley, I, I honestly, his jaw was just dropping further and further and further. To, I'm not even exactly, I just, <laughs> it was almost comical how much he, like his jaw was just dropping open. They couldn't believe what he was hearing. And then it sort of culminated in him getting on stage after the um, medley finishes. And you, you'd remember before, he, 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 well, I won't spoil it because he, he pays us the ultimate compliment, really does. Um, and he actually he it was just a completely off the cuff moment where he gets on stage and takes the mic from me to to say something to the audience. And I was just, that moment. That was just me gone. I was just like, how on earth am I going to follow this moment? You know, <laughs> um, but that was just great. I mean, it was just his face. His jaw was just like, I just couldn't believe it. It was great. Mm. And it's in the video because I saw that. I mean, especially yeah. when he comes up and he starts, you know, shaking literally every person's hand in the mm. band because it just meant so much to him. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, listen, hopefully after 50 minutes, if you don't get where you should be on December 23rd, then there's something wrong with you. Um, but Warren, listen, man, we love you like a brother. We love like what you're doing. Seriously, you're doing uh, every Bond fan in the world proud. Uh, and we can't wait for people to share in this. So we're gonna be there. We hope you're there. Go check out the oh, yeah. links. Um, Joe. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, my friend. Uh, and and Warren, see hopefully tomorrow. we'll see you soon. And thanks for thanks for being on, guys. And we're looking forward to Thank just you. really experiencing this with both of you. 
Same Thank here. You. I can't wait. Both, I'm looking forward to both it. Of you, both of you guys, have, say you both absolute legends in, in my eyes for what you do for the band, for the Bond community and, and brought so much fun to me actually as a fan as well. Um, and, and thank you so much for all the support you give us and, and yeah thank you thank you for yeah. having me on alright guys we'll see you all soon take care